What to wear to those special occasions? Today, I'm breaking down all of the attire. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My goal, as many of you know, is to help you with your style, to make style simple, to help you look good because when you look good, you feel good and today, is a great example of hopefully me providing tangible tools for you to help make your life a little simpler. Because again, that's my goal. I'm gonna break down all of the special occasion attire. So I'm gonna go through like black tie, semi-formal, casual, beach casual, all of that. I will put the categories below, quick line about them in the description box. I'm gonna get to that attire glossary in a minute, but first I wanna talk about the all important questions that you need to ask yourself before you even begin your search. Let me tell you something, this is gonna avoid you doing the inevitable boom, 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 banging your head against the wall because we all do that. I do it even still. When I'm looking for a special occasion outfit, I'm always just nervous and anxious about it and always like, well, what am I supposed to wear and what is the dress code again and what is the venue and there's so many things I'm thinking about. Maybe you don't get that anxious, maybe you don't care, but I do and I do think a lot of us do as well. So I really hope that this, it's kind of like a question cheat sheet, if you will, before your event to really help you with that search. It's going to really take the guesswork out of it and also make that search, make that hunt for that special dress or that special jumpsuit so much easier and faster. So the first question you need to ask yourself is where is the venue? What type of venue is it? So ask yourself those questions about the venue, figure it out. If it's on a beach, that's very different than being in a ballroom. Okay. If it's during the day, that's very different than it being in the evening. During the day is less formal. During the night is more formal. You know, ballroom more formal than beach, less formal. Where it is and what time it is, both very impactful in terms of how you decide what you're going to wear. The second thing is the dress code. And I'm going to get more into the attire glossary in a minute, but what is the level of dress? Etiquette dictates that all the invitations should stipulate what the level of dress is expected and supposed to be. So whether or not it is semi-formal, cocktail, black tie, black tie optional, white tie, that should be somewhere on the invitation. So make sure you look at the invitation and don't throw it away. You save it so you could refer back to it. Sometimes people create their own dress code. You know, in Texas, they have a whole thing called ranch chic. I haven't seen that anywhere else. So when somebody does sort of invent their own, they usually delineate that on the invitation with a quick description of what that entails. When you don't know, you're still confused. You can always broach somebody else going to the event or the host or the bride and groom themselves. I just want to remind you though, that if you are broaching the bride and groom, they have a lot on their plate. So maybe you loop that in when you're having coffee with them already or something like that. Or maybe you reach out to like the bride's mom because you're friends with the mom. You know, try not to bother the bride and groom is what I'm getting at. But you can always do a little research that way. Ask other people going to the event. Ask the host of the event. How do you want to look and feel is a big part of that criteria. Do you want to look sexy? Do you want to look glamorous? Do you want to look elegant? Do you want to look conservative? Do you want to look sophisticated? Do you want to look chic? How do you want to look and feel? That will also dictate and help you form a mental picture of what it is that you're searching for for that special occasion. So if you know you want to be full on glam, then maybe you're going to go for a more glamorous color with a more glamorous neckline with a more glamorous length and a longer dress. You know, you know you want to be fashion forward and you want to stand out a little bit. Maybe you go for like a red jumpsuit. You have to kind of have that mental picture of how you want to look and feel in order to really make your search much simpler. What length of dress or jumpsuit or suit do you want to wear? Like, for example, do you want to wear a mini dress? Do you want to wear cocktail length, knee length? Do you want to do midi? Do you want to do maxi? On the beach, you may want to do a maxi. You know it's going to be windy and the wind's going to be blowing, so you don't want like the wind to come and, and kick up your skirt and everybody sees everything. You've got to be mindful of, you know, again, that location, but then also thinking about the length and the hemline of the dress that you want to wear. What colors? And this is a big one because maybe you're just like, I really want to wear yellow and I get like this. I'll be like, I'm, I want to wear yellow. So for my upcoming blogger conference, I know I want to wear yellow. I love yellow, blondes and yellow. It's just such a fun, happy color. I love 
yellow. So I search for a yellow dress and that narrows the search so much. It makes it so much faster and so much easier. Another thing obviously to consider is what is your budget? You know, if you want to stay between $100 and $200 or $50 and $100, you need to make sure you create that criteria on an individual website so that you know I'm not looking at anything above that budget. It just keeps you on target. It narrows the search, again, saving you time and money. So those are really important to ask yourself that, that list of questions, and I'll put those below in the description box so you can refer back to them. When you take the time to do that, and we're looking at what, like 10 minutes? When you take the time to do that, it's gonna make it so much easier for you. It's gonna take all of that anxiousness and nervousness, it's gonna take it all away. You're gonna be much more hyper-focused and much more at ease about the whole process. And I promise you, it's gonna take so much less time when you do it this way. You know, the other thing you, you need to remember is to plan ahead. You don't wanna be heading to like Nordstrom the day before the event or the weekend before the event. You need to give yourself a solid month because then that way you can really find something that's special that really speaks to you and that you really feel amazing in. Okay, so let's get to the glossary the attire glossary, A-T-T-I-R-E. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the real casual and work our way up. If the invitation says casual, technically that could be just about anything, but what I would do to err on the side of caution is go business casual. So maybe like a, a dress, a skirt, pants and a blouse, you know, something along those lines that you would do for business casual. If it's semi-formal, I would go either cocktail dress, but not like crazy cocktail, not like sequins. I would go cocktail dress or just really pretty skirt and blouse. Done. Beach formal, you know, something that's appropriate for the beach. So obviously you're not gonna wear stiletto heels. You're gonna have to wear wedges or flats, but thinking about it in terms of being formal. So maybe it's a really long, beautiful, flowy maxi, in a striking color with a pair of really dressy wedges by Michael Kors or something like that. You also can wear a cocktail dress on the beach. Just be aware that your, your feet have to be appropriate for the occasion. So for the beach, you're gonna wanna do wedges probably or flats. If the invitation says cocktail, then that means you're just gonna grab a cocktail dress. Cocktail attire is gonna range, you know, from ev everything from like a sheath dress, solid, fitted, plain sheath dress, to sequins. You know, you can, you can, there's a whole range of cocktail dresses. And so play around with that, again, based on the venue itself, the time of the event. Black tie optional means that the black tie is optional for the man, but for the woman, it can be a little bit confusing. So for the woman, for black tie optional, that's gonna mean either a cocktail dress or a long evening dress. You could also do a suit or a jumpsuit. The level of dressiness is kind of up to you and what your preference is. Again, getting back to how you wanna look and feel. So if you wanna go all in, you wanna really pull out all the stops, then you could wear a gown or a sequined cocktail dress. If you don't, if you'd rather kind of blend in, you don't want to stand out too much, then pull it back. You have the option and that's the beautiful thing about black tie optional. You know, another thing you can do if it's not a wedding, if it's something that happens every year, like let's say it's an event, a charity event, go to the year before, Google search it and look at the images, Google images, and you could see kind of what people wore to that event the year before. That's really helpful and I've done that before. Black tie means that men have to wear black ties and that women really should wear gowns. Now you can get away with cocktail dresses, but if you're gonna wear a cocktail or a midi dress, make sure it's on the dressier end of the spectrum and not the more casual end. If you really just don't wanna buy anything new and you wanna wear your little black dress to the black tie event, then really glitz on the jewelry. You know, dress it up that way, dress it up with your shoes, but be thinking about dressy. Black tie means formal, means dressy. <laughs> And white tie, which honestly I've never seen before, I've never been to a white tie event, but white tie is like you're going to the Oscars. Like you better pull out all the damn stops. Like you're going big on the dress, you're going super glam on the hair and the makeup, all in. <laughs> That's the most formal of the bunch. So you've got white tie, black tie, black tie optional, cocktail, beach formal, 
semi-formal and casual. So the last thing I want to talk about is just what to do when you've started your search. So once you've narrowed down based on the criteria I talked about in the beginning of the video, which I put below in the description box, then you're going to want to start your search. Once you've narrowed it down to your top three, what I would highly recommend doing is just ordering all three, get them in, have them sent to your house, try them all on, take pictures in each individual outfit in the mirror, take a front picture and a back picture, because the back, you know, always we neglect, but you need to know what it looks like in the back too. Sit on it for like an hour at least. Go back, look at your phone, look at the pictures, and then make a decision based on the photographs. And think about this, which one fits and flatters me the most? Which one do I feel the most comfortable and confident wearing? Which one do I feel the most special in? And also, which one photographs the best? Because a lot of these things, you're getting photographed, so you wanna make sure that it photographs really well. So those are the things you do when you've got the three outfits at home, and then once you've made your final decision, send the other two back. If you don't want to buy a dress, you can always rent one. Companies like Rent the Runway will rent you beautiful, brand name designer high-end gowns for a lot less than buying them retail. So that's an option too. One other thing I wanted to mention is your go-to designers. So I have my go-to list. I like Alexis, I like Thurley, I like Sailor, and then I like Bardot. Bardot dresses are awesome because they have these beautiful occasion appropriate options that are also very affordable and I feel like versatile so you can wear them again and again and again. So I'll put some Bardot options below and a couple of my other favorites by Alexis and Thoroughly. It's not that hard, I promise you. And if you're really stuck when you got down to your top three, ask somebody, send the pictures over to a best buddy, your mom, your sister, whomever, and ask them what they think and either they echo your choice and you're happy or they don't and you still make your own choice, but at least you have a little bit more feedback. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any helpful hints when it comes to attire and how to break down the attire. And I'll put everything below in the description box again for you guys, quick reference. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Thank you again, you guys. I really appreciate your time and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.